Hello, welcome back to Johnson Family Times, and if you're new here, welcome for the first time. Today, we are doing an update because we haven't done a video in about four months, and the last video we did was our tour of the Aztalan Museum, just, it's right over there, it's not too far away from here. And we did promise a part two. We went out and we did a part two and I spent probably two weeks trying to edit it and make sense of it and I wasn't able to accomplish any of those things. So I scrapped it. We'll do a part two after winter. It is very snowy outside right now and wouldn't be able to show you anything except for snow. So today we have some news, some good, some bad. And we're gonna start getting back into the rhythm of making videos again. Without further words, here's Emily with some more update stuff. So we lost Brinks in December. A few days after Brinksy's eighth birthday, he stopped eating. Um, at first, he just stopped eating his food and I could still give him lunch meat, but then he just stopped completely. We took him to the vet and he had some tests and they administered some fluids. We brought him home with some meds um, in hopes of getting him feeling better so that he could would eat and drink. Um, but he just, he wouldn't eat. He started becoming aggressive because of how much he wasn't feeling good and he didn't want to eat. And um, it just, we didn't want to put him through hospitalizing him and all of that. So he walked into the vet's office with pride and he went over the rainbow bridge. This is his little snoot, his big snoot and his paw print. So that chapter of our family has closed. Brinksy is gone and that's really sad. After losing Brinks, we had a big dog shaped hole in our hearts, a big one. And a few days after Christmas, we brought home Sydney. We brought him home as a seven week old German Shepherd puppy. He is now three months or know, 12 weeks, something like that. And he is a very smart little boy and we are very excited for him to join all of our Johnson family shenanigans. So stay tuned. Um, I we do plan on making a smartest puppy in the world video because this guy is super smart super smart he's at this point he's three months old and I'm pretty confident that he is potty trained at least in our house as the normal routine allows um, I don't know if I brought him to your house if he would pee on your floor but he's good here speaking of our house we still live in it <clears throat> it's a good house got some walls um our floors are a little uneven but we're good the house is over 100 years old so what are you gonna expect no major re repairs I mean, everything's been good we got to put some christmas lights up in the christmas time so that was very fancy christmas season was cool we had to we <laughs> well we also missed halloween oh halloween we missed halloween we had our first halloween in our own house uh Kevin and I took the Leela and the tea trick-or-treating, so that was fun. And Evie stayed back here to hand out candy and had about five trick-or-treaters. So, I guess we just live on a, a slow block, but that's okay. Kids got lots of candy while they were out and about. So after our first Halloween in our house came our first Thanksgiving, um, where for the first time in my adult life I hosted a little thing with my friend and her family and so it was cool to have a bunch of people here we made a giant turkey all the fixings um, Christmas came we got to decorate our house uh, beautiful lights snowfalls and then New Year came and pretty much here we are it's still January it's snowy out again no major issues with our house Knock on wood. So, all good there. So, T. T turned two in December. Um, so he is officially terribly two. <laughs> for sure. 
Um, a lot of tantrums, but the the boy is definitely growing. Uh, he's developing. It's really fun to watch. I'm sure we've got some some videos here we can show you. He is he is a crazy energetic boy, and he's super smart and fun to have. Um, so looking forward to you know another another year with him, watching him grow and getting bigger. And then there's Leela. <laughs> Hi, I'm Leela. <laughs> How's school this whole fall and winter? It's going fine. Your new school is better or worse than your last one? Even. All right, so Christmas, this brings up, of, up to about a month ago. My favorite thing was probably the new Newmark 4-deck DJ controller I got. I'm very good at it, I'd say. I got this cat box thing that when I press the button, it grabs coins. I got a new Tamagotchi. Last year I had a Tamagotchi. Then I'm pretty sure I accidentally threw it in the garbage. Is the new Tamagotchi alive? No. <laughs> <laughs> but it's invisible reach. You can see it. But you, you know where it is. Yeah. That, that's good. I got a um, Hot Wheels truck, the um, Rajin Express, I think. That was neat. Got some nail polish. Got a fluffy blanket. It's fluffy. From Grandma? Grandma. And yeah, Christmas was fun. I'm very sad Brinksy left. Evie is probably the most sad, because... Him and Evie would snuggle together every night. Well, most of the nights. Yeah. I'm slowly learning a language. Yeah. What language? Japanese. Mm -hmm. Say something. Konnichiwa, little des. I've said something. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did I mention that I'm slowly learning it? <laughs> so, what are you looking forward to in the next year? I'm looking forward, um, Camping. We have not done that in like a year or so. Do you want to do winter camping? No. Are you gonna anyway? I hope not. What else? Uh, staying school, kids. Hey guys, it's been a while. Um, haven't seen y'all since what, like Halloween? Um, let's catch you up. So we had Christmas, which was like top notch love seeing all the family love eating all the yummy snacks love getting all the little gifts and giving all the little gifts um my favorite thing that i got for christmas honestly was probably i got this radio and it's like solar powered so it's got like a little solar panel that like flips up so it can like charge but then it also has like a flashlight and um yeah it's really neat so that's probably my favorite thing um yeah we didn't get snow here on christmas which is kind of a bummer we got snow now like a lot of it because like wisconsin i have a job i work at a um a restaurant i wash dishes and um put cups away make pizzas Stuff like that. Kind of just do whatever they want me to do and it's fun. I like my coworkers and I get to talk to a lot of people. It's a lot of fun for me. Keeps me going, I guess. Um, I manage boys basketball for my school. So I get to like, one, fill up water bottles. Yep, I'm a water boy. But I get to do like score sheets and stuff, which is really neat. And then I get to see a lot of basketball all the time i got to go to a bucks game which was super awesome oh my gosh the stadium for one awesome um it was really neat and i've never been to anything like that before so other than that just kind of trucking along getting some school done really excited for summer i'm really hoping we can get out back on our go-karts because i miss that i think about it all the time i dream about it uh, i think about it daydream about it like i 
I really miss camping and go-karting all the time. So I'm really hoping we can get some of that done in the summer. Anyways, glad I got to talk to you guys. This is great. Um, what's a cow's favorite place to go on a date? Do, 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 do. The movies. Ah, ah, ah. Overall, our family has been doing pretty good in our new house. I've been spending a lot of time expanding my tool collection. DeWalt, superior, way better than the rest of them. I got a new snowblower, you know, for clearing the snow. I went out the first snow to shovel and it really sucked. I did not like shoveling all of the sidewalk we have. So I got a snowblower that day and I haven't shoveled since. I've barely used the snowblower since, so who wins there? I don't know. And just doing a lot of work in the garage, trying to keep it clean. It's really hard in the winter, but at least it's heated. I've also been doing a lot of work down in my office. Learning how to use this new video editing software I got, DaVinci Resolve, upgrading my computer flying my drone and just basically trying to get better at video since that's the field I am trying to succeed in and yeah you will see all of that progress in our videos so I won't talk too much about that otherwise like I said everything's going great and it's really great to be back on this path of making videos again sorry once again that it has been so long but we're here, and we're still going to keep going at it. So anyway, be sure to uh, like and subscribe. You can follow us on Facebook. Definitely not too active on it, but uh, you can follow us there. Just search up Johnson Family Times. With that said, thanks for watching, and have a Johnson-ish day. See you next time. Thank you.